Music is of heavenly origin. It is a divine gift. It is in music that our acclaims and adorations rise to the Lord, who is the embodiment of purity, joy, and harmony. Yes, and it also, music um, is a way of God to communicate to us, to inspire us, and to lift our souls. Mga kapaglaom, join us today in our thanksgiving and in lifting our praises to God. This is the Good Samaritan Project Himig ng Pag-asa, a benefit concert. Good day and happy Sabbath mga kapaglaom to all our Facebook Live and YouTube channel viewers. We are so happy that we are all together in this very special program that celebrates music. And I am so happy to be alongside Kapaglaom Chantal this Aww. afternoon. Yes, Queen. I am so excited also. Actually, daghanjog kayo yung nagtanaw karon mga Kapaglaom. Daghanjog mata na diri karon sa studio kay tungod espesyal. Yes. Ang atong kahapunon sa tanan na itong mga Kapaglaom naglantaw. Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Ayaw na mo og balhin. And also share today's episode. Kay dili lang mo magtanaw dili lang po mo mapanalanginan sa mga awit, sa mga kanta nga inyong madunggan, you will also be supporting this initiative, this cause to build and rebuild jungle schools. Like, right, Queen? Yes, you are right, Shan. And we are live nationwide, mga kapaglaom. We are live in Hope Channel North, uh, North Philippines, Central Philippines, and here Southern Philippines. So this is really a big event and we are so blessed now that we are all together at the moment. Yes, and so mga kapaglaom, to know more, kung unsa pag yun yung atong ginabuhat karon nga hapon, to explain, unsa pag yun, dahil nga nung namay jungle school, nga nung benefit council, nga nung daghan man ta karon, orchestra, na choir, na yung bell, so mga kapaglaom, we would like to give this, no, to our Adventist Medical Students Network representatives, we have of Novel Gay Gomez and Christine Michelle Cossing. Happy Sabbath afternoon everyone! Maayong hapon! I pray that everyone is doing well. I am Nobel Gay Gomez from AMSN Philippines, your host for this afternoon's Himig ng Pag-asa, a concert for a cause. And here with me is my beautiful co-host, Sister, kindly introduce yourself naman and say hello to our viewers and live audience. Yes, hello, magandang hapon sa lahat and happy Sabat. Ako nga pala si Kim Kausing, also a member of AMSN Philippines. Gusto ko nga palang batiin ng ating viewers sa FB. I believe, Bell, we are also live not only on our own FB page, but other Facebook pages also right now. Yes, praise God. On behalf of the AMSN family, we welcome everyone who is watching our live this afternoon. We are very happy and thankful that you are joining us. This afternoon's program is actually a joint program of the Adventist Medical Student Network, Mountain View College and South Philippine Union Conference. At syempre, iisa lang naman po ang layunin ng programa natin ngayong hapon, and that is to celebrate God's goodness and to raise funds for our beneficiaries. Yes, tama yan, Belle. Sa totoo lang, sobrang natutuwa ako sa opportunity to host such a wonderful program. Gusto ko nga palang isingit, Belle, kasi nanonood din sila ngayon. Uh, gusto kong batiin yung mga churchmates ko dyan sa Polomolok. Hello sa mga taga-Polo Church, aming youth, elders, and members. Also sa family ko, hello. So, balik tayo sa concert. So, ang galing, Belle, no? The concert is live at SPUC Hope Studio habang tayo nasa ibang lugar, but still we are able to join them virtually. Makabagong pamamaraan nga talaga. Yes, I agree with you, Kim. First time natin mag-host, Kim, no? Pero, yun nga, may kasabihan na basta sa ministry, 
um, never say no. So, ayan. Um, guys, comment down below kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon, kung saan po ang inyong lugar. And please, um, do tag your friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, pati na exit tag nyo na po, and then invite them to watch the concert. And of course, don't forget to share your blessing through your donation. Now, let me take this opportunity to thank the Lord for the chance we have today to congregate here as we share the love of God through music. We have gathered today for the wonderful concert for a cause, Himig ng pag so that we can praise the Lord, give Him glory, and also help our beneficiaries raise funds. It is our sincere hope that this concert will echo from SPUC Hope Studio to the hearts of you who are watching right now. Once again, welcome everyone and I hope you will enjoy the hard work these different organizations have put into making this program possible. Yes, so after our part will be an introduction video for our guest singers and will be followed by a prayer to be offered by Bon Reno, an AMSN member also, and a prayer song entitled Baba Yetu. The Advent Philomels was founded in 1978 under Mr. Ephraim Sayud as the founding conductor, with Mr. Ruben and Dr. Norma Lachika as the first faculty advisors. The group began with only eight members and was initially called the Hillside Singers since most of its appointments were at the neighboring Hillside churches of Mountain View College. It was later changed to its present name the Advent Philomels, Advent pertaining to the second coming of Jesus Christ, and Philomels, which is a type of bird, the singing nightingale. From its origin with eight members, today, the group, under the leadership of Assistant Professor Renel Albin Fernando, has maintained a membership of at least 30 active members. Since its founding, the group has shared the Advent message in different key cities around the Philippines and has also an active chapter outside the country through the Advent Philomels USA. Through the years, the group's ministry has reached far beyond the ears of those who were touched and blessed by its music. By sensing the needs of the community around it, the AP has raised funds to support projects for the Sulats, the working students, various calamity victims, church and school constructions, including the completion of the right wing of the MVC Library building. During this pandemic, the AP has stayed relevant in the music ministry, having participated in seven virtual choir concerts, six virtual choir projects, five virtual fundraising concerts, two live concerts, two musicals, one gala concert, and virtual singing appointments for SDA churches in the United States, United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, Thailand, and Indonesia among others. COVID-19 may have limited the group's outings, but it has expanded their opportunities to reach out. When I joined the AP, I was first really uh, tense and afraid. I thought it was some kind of very hard and very high kind of group with large expectations. And it is. But the more I've come, I've seen that the purpose really of being an AP is for the glory of God. As the name suggests, we are singing until the second advent of Christ. And uh, my experience so far has been very amazing. To me, the AP is a very big opportunity especially now during the pandemic. And yet, it's been a very big blessing to be part of the AB because I have something to look forward to in which I know my efforts are not useless because every week, every time we practice, I know that our performances, our, our songs, all of this will be used for the glory of God and through His grace. I know that it will be a blessing to others and it will be used to further His work. So, all in all, uh, by being part of the AP, it's been a great blessing to me and it is my longing that it becomes a great blessing to everyone else too. 
It's been said that the Advent Philomels is more than a choir. It's a family. For more than 40 years, this household of music has taught and touched lives by echoing God's message through their God-given voices. But even more than their talents is their willingness to be led by the master conductor. From one dawn worship to another, with each singing appointment, the Advent Philomels will continue to pervade the keynote of salvation until Jesus comes. Our Father in heaven, we come before you on this Sabbath day to offer to you our praises through music that will be offered to you by the Advent Film Mills, the orchestra, and the handbells. Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to be with these young people as they offer to you. And we pray also, Lord, for those who are listening, that their hearts will be touched by you and that the proceeds that will be given to those who will be benefited by this may it be for the furtherance of your work and that it may hasten the coming of your son jesus christ be with us today and may our hearts and minds be focused on you on this holy sabbath day thank you for hearing and answering our prayers in jesus name we pray amen Power and the glory forever. 
Amen. I am sure that by now you already have an idea about our guest singers, the very active Advent fellow males of Mountain View College with their beloved conductor, Sir Runel Alden Fernando. Um, even during our college day scheme, no, AP is already very active, especially sa mga ganitong event. And we are very thankful kasi um, konting side note lang po, when we approached Sir Ronel regarding the fundraising concert, he immediately said, yes, hindi niya na talaga kami pinahirapan. Praise God for that, yes, because we, we really can't call this a concert without them and our other special guests. So, um, before giving the stage to them, Kim, ipakilala siguro muna natin sa audience, what is the MSN and the Good Samaritan Project? Yes, Belle. So, Adventist Medical Student Network Philippines, or AMSN, is a non-profit organization composed of medical students from all over the country who are eager to participate in the Gospel Commission. So, for this year, AMSN is being managed by its current president, Mr. Dominic John Alburo, a medicine student from University of Northern Philippines, together with the other officers from different schools, including our very own Adventist University of the Philippines, West Visayas University, Davao Medical School Foundation, and MAHAM. Yes, and under AMSN, we have different regional organizations, the Amicus UNP and Luzon Society of Adventist Medical Students um, for Luzon, and then Iloilo Society of Adventist Medical Students for Visayas, Davao Society of Adventist Medical Students for Mindanao, and Cebu Adventist Medical Student Association for Cebu City and nearby cities. And hopefully, by God's grace, madadagdagan itong mga regional organization natin, especially sa Cagayan de Oro City, Kim, no? Kasi meron din tayong mga Adventist students who are studying medicine in CDO and malayo for, uh, malayo for them ang Davao para ma-include sila sa DSAMS. But currently, those, yes, currently those who are studying in cities na wala pang established organization, they are under the AMSN wing. So, and kung nanonood kayo ngayon, I'd like to invite you to join us sa AMSN. Yes, join us kasi the main purpose of AMSN is to connect every Adventist student all over the country and create a network. So, meron tayo mga week of prayer and other activities under AMSN and GSP is one of those. And meron ding activities ang mga regional organizations such as week of prayer and regional Sabbath, uh, Sabbath programs. So, by this network, pag merong mga students na may problema like Sabbath keeping sa school nila, pinagpe-pray yan ng mga members because we believe that there is power in prayer and we encourage each other to stand firm on our principle regarding Sabbath, especially to our members who are studying sa mga state universities. Mm -hmm. And so, overall, the main goal of AMSN is to encourage every medicine student to focus on the master physician. As we know, during his earthly life, Jesus was very active in his ministry of healing. He cured the blind, opened the ears of the deaf, and brought the dead back to life. Although we may not be able to bring back the dead to life, it is our desire to make them see that there is hope and there is a God beyond their illness. So AMSN is also blessed to have our beloved advisors who guide us in every way. The wonderful couple Dr. Elvin Texon and Dr. Diana Texon. They are also our advisors last year and praise God that they still accept, accepted the calling of being our advisor for this year. We mentioned earlier that AMSN has this annual pro uh, project, the Good Samaritan Project, which is under the social civic branch, branch of the AMSN. The Good Samaritan Project started last March 2020 and as far as I know, GSP was born from a leap of faith project which is a joint effort of different organizations and donors who have the heart when it comes to ministry. Yes, Good Samaritan Project po was born because we have this 
desire to extend help to others regardless of what organization, as long as it would glorify God. We may not have the funds to start the project, pero um, ever since, na-prove talaga namin yung kasabihan na just do it and God will help you. He will send sponsors, donors, and people who will say yes to participate in the event. And um, for this year's Good Samaritan Project, we have the Himig ng Pag-asa, a concert for a cause. And as you listen to the series of songs this afternoon, you may send your donations via the channels reflected on your screen. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, prepare your hearts and pockets because we will now give the floor to Advent Films as they sing a series of three songs entitled Angels Visit When We Sing, Blessed Assurance, and I Can Tell the World.
Ages, yes, then I'm blessed. Oh, I can tell the world, yes, I'm blessed. Oh, I can tell the world, oh, yes, I'm blessed. Oh, I can tell the world, yes, then I'm blessed. Oh, I can tell yes, the world, yes, then I'm blessed. Yes, that I'm blessed. My Lord, and just what He said. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. He healed the sick and He raised the dead. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. He lifted me when I was down. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. He placed my feet on solid ground. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. I can tell the world, yes, about this. I can tell the nations, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the world, yes, I can tell the world, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the nations, yes, that I'm blessed. Tell them what my Lord has done. Oh, yes, tell them the conqueror has come. And he brought joy. That morning, hallelujah. That morning, hallelujah. I can tell the world, yes, I'm blessed. I can tell the nations, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the nations, yes, that I'm blessed. Yes, that I'm blessed. We praise God for the gift of talents. Parang gusto ko na din matutong kumanta at maging member nila. So, well, at this moment, you might probably wonder who our beneficiaries are. So, Belle, can you do the honor of telling our audience more about our beneficiaries? Yeah, and I pray that you guys are enjoying the Benefit Concert. Relax lang po kayo dyan because the AP prepared more songs for you. Our first beneficiary for Himig ng Pagasa is Silangon Village. This village is located in the jungle of Natampud in the province of Bukidnon, Philippines. This village has just been restored and can be reached after a 4-hour hike from the jump-off point accessible by a 4x4 vehicle. And if there is a landslide, there will be an additional 1-hour hike. So, we mentioned weeks before the concert that the donations that will be collected are intended to help the community raise funds for their community water system in order to address the need for clean water because usually it takes 20 minutes to fetch water from a stream which is the main water source of the village, a task that becomes more challenging during summer as they have to walk farther for water. But um, once again, brothers and sisters, the Lord has proved to us that He is listening and awake and no good thing is withheld from us. Because even before the concert has commenced, God sent a sponsor to Silangon Village who pledged for the water system. Wonderful, right? Such a wonderful news indeed. With that, we will still give the proceeds to Silangon Village because there are still a lot of things that need to be done such as improvement of the housing and replenishment of supplies. Also, they have other um, projects that need our support for the betterment of the village and their neighboring village po. According to Sir Throdi, our contact person, they are planning to share the proceeds sa Karatig Jungle Village who also need a lot of help. Okay, praise God. We give back the praises and glory to God for allowing us to do this concert on behalf of Him. The success of this concert is not for the AMSN, not for the AP, not for the handbells, not for our partner organizations, but rather for our beneficiaries and of course for the Lord's cause. And for our second beneficiary, we have the typhoon victims. A portion of the proceeds of Himig ng Pag-asa will be donated to address Disaster Response Fund. We believe that you who are watching, watching right now share the same conviction of selfless service towards our Lord and in helping others. With this, we hope that you join us in our endeavor in raising funds as one of our benefactors by sending your donations via the, uh, via the channels reflected on your screen. 
And thank you, Kim. And now the Advent Philomels will next be singing two songs entitled You Do Not Walk Alone and Build on the Rock. After these two songs, uh, we will give our singers a break and we will give the floor to Mountain View College for a very special segment they have prepared for all of us. Please stay and continue to join us because the concert is not yet over. We will be back and the AP will sing more songs for you. But before all of that, let us first watch this video When he came, there is no light, but when he left, there is no darkness. Dari na ko nakita ang tinuod ng miracle, dili ang milagro ng ang missionary makahimo sa pagpabuhi o patay during sa ihang term, dili makahimo sa pagayo, but ang tinuod ng miracle ang Himoon sa Ginoo through the working of the Holy Spirit ang transformation sa karakter sa usa ka tawo nga magpagamit sa buluaton sa Ginoo. Kun atong dawaton si Jesus nga to ang savior so we have a commission to go so unsaon man nako pagpaila nga adunay Dios nga manluluwas kun dili ko man hinini nga dapit kun dili na ko ipaila ang gugma sa Ginoo adunay mga tao nga daghan pa nga wala makabalo sa gugma sa Ginoo sa grasya sa Ginoo kaluoy sa Ginoo o nabati na ko ang tawag sa Ginoo sa kuwa nga ana ako niini nga village aron mahimo nga partaker sa suffering sa atong manluluwas nga mao si Kristo Mabot ni og tulo upat ka oras apan ko na kay dala mas mo extend pa siya pero uban sa tabang sa Ginoo na amid dire og nakita na mo ang need sa mga bata na sign mid dire as a pioneering missionary so walay cottage walay school so amo abtan kun asa mi ipatulog sa mga villagers o maura gina ang mamamatay. Ang ngayon sa ginoo nga naka-inspire sa koa, you cannot hold with your finite mind the all the providences of God. Let God work in His work. So, akong nakita sa ginoo nga Lord, hindi mo kami ipanhidere. So, amo na ning itog yan sa imo ha. When he came, there is no light, but when he left, there is no darkness. Among ginaampo sa Ginoo, uban sa tabang sa balang espiritu nga sa diha nga mao man among turn, wala nay kanit-nit na mapabili niya ni Magdalena sa mga kaya ang glory, ang character, ang light nga mao si Jesus Christ magpabilin dili lang sa village kung dili sa matag usa sa kinabuhi sa mga tao sa mga ginikanan ug sa ilahang mga kabataan usab Nalipay kaayo mi nga nabalik na ang among sulad sa una nga nakamando ug nakahatag sa kaayuan dinhi sa amoa Kung wala, wala pa ni mga sulad sa hantod karun kami na simula agni, wala mi na kauli, kay kami na bakwit ni. Kini among sityo wala gid niya di mao kung wala pa ni mga sulad sa nakasunod rin siya. Amo akay 
sila may nakahatag og kaayuan din sa among sitio O dagan po pa salamat namo sa mga sulad na dagan ang gitabang sa among mga bata o daghan po ang ilang gikahatag na para kaayuan nila sa among mga bata. in terms of spiritual aspect o host para sa tubig o sa education sa mga bata, school building and then sa missionary as well na nanginahalan po mi o gamay nga cottage so among ginaampo sa ginoo nga doon ay mga tao na gamiton sa ginoo na mahimo, na ma-extend sa lahang blessing so dili ang tanan gitawag sa bukid gitawag sa isla Apan, ang matagosa, adunay katungdanan sa pag-preach sa gospel nga mao si Jesus nga ang commission sa matagosa kanato go and teach all nations so kinahanglan ang matagosa kanato magtinabangay magpagamit sa buluhaton sa Ginoo tungod kay ang matagosa adunay katungdanan nga mahimo nga kabahin sa buluhaton sa Ginoo mahimo nga kahayag ngadto sa kalibutan nga atong ipuy-an nining hinapos ng mga adlaw.
Foundation. 
Amen, mga kapaglaom, no? Kung gusto gyud mo, nga mo, kung gusto gyud ta, nga dili hawang, dili ka nang huyang ang ato ang pagkinabuhi diri sa kalibutan, we have to build on the rock. And again, sa ato mga kapaglaom, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and even abroad, our OFWs that are watching, we are so happy to be celebrating this Sabbath afternoon with you. This is spearheaded by the Adventist Medical Students Network, a benefit concert, and we're so happy nga dili lang kita diri karon queen we know mag istorya ta atong istorya and we'll talk about how beautiful how significant music is to each one of us and so sa ato mga kapaglaom that are watching you can comment your thoughts also sa comment box on facebook and youtube tell us more tell us how music has been really significant to you how it changed you your, your life or even so more mga kapaglaom please do comment dira sa facebook and sa youtube queen Yes, you are right, Kapag Laom Shan. Like, we all have our stories to tell in relation to our experiences about music. And before we delve into that, I would really like to greet personally all the students of Mountain View College who are supporting oh, yeah. us today, who are with us today, even through Facebook Live lang shan. So, I would also especially greet my family, kay basig mga silo ni sila, akong biological family, as well as my foster family, and all the young people from Davao region. So, shan basig na po kay gusto ipanimbaya. Yes, gusto na ako ipanimbaya ang atong mga kauban dira sa Facebook. So, nag-open ko mga kapaglaom, I'm here. Dira sa fa I'm there, dira sa Facebook. We have I Iros Duran, kapaglaom Ju Cabaro, Nasis, watching from Singapore. We have Ma'am Joy de la Peña. Hello, Ma'am. Ma'am Emma Enson. Sir Jimil Cabajo. Ruth Caliso. We also have here Raya Sironi. Happy Sabbath watching from Canada. Ano? Dagan-dagan dyan tayong mga kauban ka ron. Mga kapaglaom. And I saw somebody watching from L.A. Gain. Ayun. Okay, California, si Alpac. I'm watching with you from Los Angeles, California. So, maayong hap oh, sa bandad to. Buntag ba siguro or uto? Happy Sabbath sa inyo, Hadara. And we also have with us oh, from Hong Kong. Now, they are watching from Hong Kong as well as from Singapore. So, dili ang Indonesia nationwide ang atong event. Karong hapon na siya, but it's also Worldwide. Ayun. And then, we just like to inform everybody, no? Mga kapaglaom, this afternoon, Manggood, we're also live in Visayas and also in Manila. Yes. So, we want to speak in a language that we will... Um, magkasinabot tayo that we will understand each other. But then again, time to time, of course, masam, Bisaya tagamay, no? Yes. <laughs> Proud Bisaya. <air>. Exactly. <laughs> so sa ato mga kapaglam, we have here, handsome gentleman. Queen, yes. would you like to introduce Kinsay Nasa Kuntapad? Like, uh, as what I have mentioned earlier, we all love to hear music, to listen to music, to play instruments, and all... Uh, all those connected to those things, no. But we also love to hear stories. No, we also love to hear conversation. So, wala man ko nagaingon ng mga maritesta, mga kapaglaom. But we really love. Nagingon na kakwin. But we really love to hear stories and conversation. So that's what we are going to do now. And I'm so excited to introduce our guest for today. Now, our first guest is a graduate of Master of Arts in Anthropology. And he has been teaching in our institutions for almost 20 years already. So, kamo na lay bahala mo guess sa iyang edad, mga kapaglaom. And at the moment, he teaches at the Mountain View College Academy and the School of Arts and Sciences. And, mga kapaglaom, he is a music enthusiast because at the same time, as a faculty, he manages the Manupali String Machine. It is a string ensemble. And, dili lang po niya musician, mga kapaglaom. He is also a football player. Oh, wow. And even a licensed football coach and works with the Bukidnon Football Association. And, at the moment, he coaches the MVC football team. He is happily married to his wife, Junette Madriaga, and they are blessed with three kids, Seiji, Sabi, and Zion. He's no other than Mr. or Sir Dwight Kenji Madreyaga. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. 
Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll be greeting my mom and dad. Is it okay? Yes, sure, yes, 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 sure. Uh, my mom and dad who are celebrating their anniversary oh, today. Happy wow. anniversary. Happy anniversary. anniversary. Sorry for missing it because I'm here. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to make up for it. Happy anniversary. Ayun. Thank you, sir. And also, mga kapaglaom, kauban po na ito. Taas-aas niya akong basahon, ha? <laughs> and so, he's an assistant professor at the School of Theology of Mountain View College. He is an author, teacher, and pastor who has served the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Philippines, and not just here in the Philippines, but also in Indonesia, in the, er in the areas of frontier and or uh, urban missions. He has a Master's of Religion in Biblical Studies from Adventist International Institute of Advanced Studies in Silang, Cavite, uh, Cavite sorry, Philippines, and he is currently completing his Adventist Studies Certificate Program from Andrews University. City, uh, Berrien Springs, Michigan, USA. So his hobbies includes writing, music, and photography. And he is single and available, sir. Pastor? That's true. Ah, oh, like, oh, diba? Regrettably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, music. Uh. Now, we have, we are like, um, we have people watching from Mindanao, Sayas, right. Luzon, all mm -hmm. over the Philippines. Mm -hmm. how, is this very how is this significant to them also? Now? We're, we're here, we're far away from them, but we're like celebrating this one thing that yes. I think we're all connected. Yes, so right. that's because of music. Mm. Um, they say music is the language of the soul, you know? And I like that definition because it's better than the technical definition, right? Um, those of you who have taught music, you know that what the technical definition is, and it's very boring. It talks about rhythm and harmony and, and the melody and so on and so forth. But I like to talk about it as the, mu as the language of the soul because that is how we experience music. We don't experience music uh, as, uh, as an external phenomenon. Right? It's, it's oh, yeah. one of those... Yeah, that's nice. Oh, kanang, it's one of those re uh, very rare art forms that the person who is the performer derives the same amount of pleasure mm -hmm. from it as the person who is listening to it. I, I think Sir Ken just no, wants yeah, to say something uh, you, about you're, that. You're, you're right on point there. Um, it, it's one of the things where uh, it, you, you derive pleasure by yourself and it is something that is also shared. Yeah. So that, that's what we're celebrating here. We're, right. we're sharing this, 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 this thing, this music together, right? And we're separated by time, space, but, 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 but because of technology, the music that we hear here at the studio could also be enjoyed and celebrated. By, by people all around the world, right? right? Um, I think you, you, re you read from, um, from the U.S., in, in, mm -hmm. in California, California, L.A., Hong Kong, and Hong Kong, all, all, the, all around the world. Um, distance does not diminish the pleasure that we hear, uh, that, that, that we feel from, from hearing music or, or perceiving it. A am I right? Yeah, it and, and that's what makes people. it so powerful, right? Mm. When, 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 when a, 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 a medium of communication such as music uh, transcends time, yes. transcends and space. Time and space. Yes. You were talking about music yes, and time. Right. And time. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, guys, get ready to. To be mind blown. <laughs> Nerd out. The concept of yeah. music yeah. Nerd and out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, music is so special in the sense that it is the art form that adamantly tells us the passage of time. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, let's say, for example, um, you have. A certain chord, let's say it's the C major chord, okay. right? The C major chord sounds completely different if you play it after an F major chord mm -hmm. or if you play it after a D minor diminished chord. It, it, it's completely different. The, the reason why they're different is not because of the chord itself, but because you played that chord after the other chord. So okay. the, the element path, of time. The element of time is so important. And, and let me give you an illustration of that, um, th that principle in music. No, I, I, I don't really have a really good singing voice. Sige lang, pastor. Right? Okay. Sige lang, pastor. So, um, we'll, uh, give, we'll give you a chance. So let's say, um, um, <laughs> let's, say it's, uh, let's say it's Blessed Assurance, right? Um, the last line there is, um, in the course, is... Um, 
praising my Savior all the day long. So say, if you go like this, praising my Savior all the day long. Okay? That's, that's the feeling, that's the emotion that you get. But if you just change the passage of time a little bit, right? You say, praising my Savior all the day long. See, all of you are transfixed because you feel the emotion. You feel the emotion in the music. You feel the emotion strung through those, through those notes, basically vibrations, mm. right? And so that's what, that's what music is. It, it shows us that the passage of time matters. But not only that, it shows us our mortality. Yes. Because that that's the is... Implication. Right. <laughs> right? That's how all of us experience life. We don't experience life in a snapshot. Mm -hmm. We experience life through time, through moments. And so... In the same way that we go through life in moments, we go through music in moments. It, it reminds us of our mortality, that we are human too. Like the Bible says, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You know, our time on, on earth is limited. And through music, we are reminded not only of our time on earth, but of the day that is coming. Aww. That's wow. why that's why God and how he deals with us na pud say timing na pud say na pud say nay oras pud ba dili diretso diretso right you'd like to agree sir uh, I, yeah of course i that, that, that you're, you're you're right there um and and uh in sometimes sometimes we forget the importance of of the passage of time, time. right and and uh, that's a very good reminder that music, when we listen to music, it, it, it reminds us that it's not just the, the time of the music we're listening to, but, you know, we have a limit in this earth. Mm -hmm. Like, like our, our mortality becomes more uh, apparent, apparent right, right. When, when, when we consider music in that way as, a, as, as vibrations that pass through time, right? Wow, we're learning so a lot. We are learning a lot, mga kapaglam. It's so technical, it's so deep, but look at its implications in our lives, no? And how uh, limited our time is, and we have to make the most of it. Yeah, and how limited, but how beautiful it can be. Like, there's, there, there can be a beautiful piece mm -hmm. yes. out of it, no? Yes. Each one of us, each person that is watching right now, God is making this yeah. beautiful piece in your life, and it's it's beautiful especially it if we <laughs> celebrate it through music I know. <laughs> and Just, mm -hmm. music unites people across all ages right like it does not discriminate anyone so at the moment mga kapaglaom we are really happy because yes music unites all people across all ages and we are so happy because our young people our mm, students yes. from mountain view college are so into music and now we will be hearing our very own orchestra from Mountain View College for their special music. We will be back.
Campus Mountain View uh, College Orchestra. So sa atong mga kapaglaom that are watching, no, this is a benefit concert initiated by the Adventist Medical Students Network. And we would like also to thank our partners, the report. Now we'd like to thank Hope Channel South Philippines in leadership of uh, Pastor uh, Roxy Pidor, Communications Director and our Manager, he's right here, no, Sir John Sir Calibod. And forgive me, I wasn't able to say his name, Pastor Crisel Leo Garilva. I'm so sorry, mga kapaglom. But we can call you Pastor CL. Right. So Pastor CL is a professor. You're a teacher. Mm -hmm. And some of na naadri from the orchestra or from the choir, from the bell, some of them are your students. Right. Now, they're in MBC. Mm -hmm. how, how important... It is that your students experience this this flow of music all around the campus. Well, l let me start it like this, okay? And I'm going to bring Sir Kenji into the discussion. Okay. Right? Um, in MVC, we believe in this concept called holistic education. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the poster boy for that, I think... We could be, you know, we could be, me and Sir Kenji could be poster children for that because you introduced him as um, the head coach yes, for the football, the football team. Mm -hmm. Guess who the president of the football club is? Kinsa. So if, if Sha ang. He's coach, the head coach. So who's the coach. president? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So what I'm saying is um, at MVC, we educate the whole person that's what that's our heritage from from the spirit of prophecy from the pioneers of mvc from the pioneers of the church we educate students not only um in in their studies pero physically put no yes sa, sa sports sa um some music right. right music so um i think i think um sir, sir kenji can also you know um Say why this is so important. Um, here's a secret. You know, um, I was actually Pastor CL's first violin teacher. Oh. I, think, I think I carbon dated myself. No. <laughs> Wrong move. Wrong. Now people are going to start calculating. Yeah, Counting. your age. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you know, when you. I, I, we were talking backstage that. Mm about, about um, how our uh, educational system, the Adventist educational system, uh, is very different from other educational systems. Because yeah. especially uh, here in the context of music, in the context mm. of music, when you go into our educational system, you're not just expected to learn the academics and, oh. and do the stuff. And but, cognitive part. Yes. yes. But the, you're thrust, you're, you're, you're thrown into the deep end. Yeah. Uh, of music, like you join the choir, you're 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 encouraged to to learn an instrument, right. or things like that, right? Mm -hmm. so music is woven into the fabric of the mm -hmm. educational systems yes. of of our institutions, and and when we talk about um, ho holistic education, I think nothing could be more descriptive of that than than how music is part yeah. of our educational system. That's why. Um, we have very good musicians who never become professional musicians. Yes. They, they become nurses yeah, or, or pastors yeah. like this guy. Right. Or, or, you know, like um, you've just heard the, the, the orchestra. Uh -huh. um, John Ross is he's a very good, he's a very good central de football defender. Oh. See, see, so he, he, can, he can conduct the orchestra. He can go to school and learn. Um, he's a nursing student. But he can, you know... The, that's life. Uh, so we educate people for life. Yes. yes. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's something that we have to kind of remember put back, mm. that education is not just about getting these degrees yeah. and all mm. the position that you want to be in, but then it's, it's an overall person. Yes, the totality the of total the person. Mm -hmm. no? we, we're talking about the holistic development of that person. And as what Sir Kenji mentioned a while ago, that there are schools who specialize in the arts. Yes, there are yes. schools who specialize in sports. Yes. But in our system, no, the advocacy is education we specialize in all those things we yes. let our students yeah. experience mm -hmm. all those things for them to achieve holistic development and that is a very important thing like, like for yes. example like you look at the 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 choir
choir, the the singing group uh -huh. members. Yes, like, that's true. They're very good singers. Or you look at the um, the orchestra. Uh, if they were in another school, you know, they would say like, "Why don't you take up music? Why yes. don't you go in? Why don't you specialize? Why don't you take up violin performance?" Uh -huh. Right? Exactly. Um, uh -huh. um, but these guys, you know, they they don't see the need to do that. They can become good nurses and, and also good violinists. You mm -hmm. know, it doesn't it doesn't put you in a box. Right. right? Um, like, let, let me just jump in here because I think this is very important. This is a very important part of, of, of Adventist education, especially at MVC. There's a tradition that everyone has to learn manual labor. Manual labor. Oh, manual that's labor. True. Work education. Poor, rich, everyone has to go through work education. You have to learn how to work with your hands. You need to learn how to, to provide for your family. You, know, have to, you, you, know, you need to, to learn this skill even if you may one day become the president of the college. Right, right. right. And, and, and I think this is one of the things that, that I don't know if it's, it's in any other school, but you can see a guy, you know, trimming, trimming the hedges at Mountain View College. He's trimming the hedges, cutting the lawn, you know, you know may, maybe fertilizing the soil. But you can't tell your kids, you know, kids, go to school, because if, you, if not, you're going to end up like him, because no. he might be the president of MVC. <laughs> Right, and it's. I think it's. It might have happened in the past where, where people realize that all oh, these people who are working on the grounds are actually um, uh, faculty members and professors, and you know we would say accomplished individuals. So that's part of holistic education as well. Exactly. Yeah. If we are to grow holistically, we would also be like if we do these things. You know, like you will not exalt yourself. Bang, I am just into this kind of job, so mm. I am your boss. I am right. This, I am Right. And all that, no? Because when we grow holistically, we are humbled by the, those small things that we do for other people. You know, when, um, when uh, MVC began, the, 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 the founders of MVC really envisioned um, work education That's as true. the as the foundation of... So, napad yun na siya karon. That's yes. existing yes. until yes. this day. Yes. 21st yes. century. Na There's work hapon. education in MVC. Okay. Yes, we still have work education. In the past, it was a bit more... <laughs> there's, there's, you know, they've struggled because there's, there's been movements within, within, you know, CHED and, and the educational system of the Philippines and, you know, the world. Yes. But, it's, we've actually stuck to it and some people don't think it's important, but it's actually part of the reason why MVC began. I think Sir Kenji is going to say when, something about when, that. When uh, MVC started, it was, it was hinged on the idea that everybody had to learn to do manual labor. Like, you could be an accountant sitting in an office, but you, could also, you would also know how to plow a field. Yes. You know? <laughs> uh, it's that kind of education that we... Until today, MBC really strives to, to uphold. Uh, yeah. I think it all boils down also to the desire to develop characters yes. that will yes. serve, mm. that will be benefited not just mm. by themselves, uh, yes. or, but by the community, but by everybody. And when we talk about education, it's about personal development, right? It's about individual fulfillment. But we also have to look beyond ourselves. You know, what we can do for other people. That's true. You know, what we can do for the common good. And that is a very important thing about education. You know, I think that's why MVC throughout the years have always been producing um, graduates would go on to be missionaries around the I world because, right. because um, when you're in the mission field, oh. you can't just sit in the office, you know. Yeah. You might be asked to plow the field. <laughs> exactly. You come in as an accountant, yeah. but you end up mm. being the farm manager, mm. you know. And, and, and the things like that happen in, in the real world. Yes. And with the, with the training that uh, is instilled in, in, a, in, a, in a system that values manual labor, it becomes mm. very, very Important. Very important. Ayon. It's very important. Like, um, I, I, I hate to use a, a personal example, but just this noon time, I was um, in Pastor Rosa's house. You know, Pastor Rosa is the field secretary of our union. But then he was showing me around his garden. You know, yes, so, so. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes the, the, even the outside. Oh, God, good. All different stuff. <laughs> so we were eating from his garden. So in, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, if this was an, uh, if this was secular education, a non Adventist education, you're training someone to be an executive, you know, to be someone who's, well, basically one of the top officers in the whole of Mindanao. That's what SVUC South Philippines is. So he's, well, we could say one of our 
top executives uh, for, 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 for Mindanao. And yet, the training that he got, the Adventist education, yes, MVC education specifically, mm-hmm. is that you are never too specialized in your job. You are never yeah. too special as a person to be above manual labor, Ayaw. to be above useful labor. Yes, so that's it's, it's right. A as I put it, we are Jack and Jill of many trades. Like Ayaw. we wear many hats. We are right. very hu- multi-hyphenated people. <laughs> I just like to share something. No? Yes. Sa ato mga kapaglaom that are watching, maybe you haven't um, thought about it. If you're a parent, you haven't uh-huh. thought about sending or or if you're a student, what is it like? So I can really relate to you. Um, I did not grew up in a family nga. we have this worship, we have these songs and mm. all. Now, there was a literature evangelist na out of the blue, nag sa among door and then uh, she said nga na I school day that your children can experience Adventist education. Day one, elementary, was elementary, the teacher was playing ukulele. Yeah. Mm. And that was it. Mm. I I asked my mama I will go to an Adventist education even if that means I had to work for it. Yeah. Even if I had to be a working student, because I love how I I I am not musically inclined. On speaking of music, I was not growing up. I did not grow up sing. But then I love the experience when people sing. When there's piano, when there's violin. I think that was like the most I know good beautiful days of my <laughs> life. And, and that's I I hope that this, the parents that are listening right now, they your your children will really. Ex- this is my experience. Mm-hmm. They will experience something beyond what the world is offering also. Right. And they will mm-hmm. take it forever. Until yeah. now. Yes. <laughs> until right. now. Even if, right. I, I mean, mm-hmm. even if you have to work for it, but you can yes. in MVC also. Right. Um, it's, it's, I think, one of the hallmarks of, of, of MVC that a person who works for their education is honored and shown respect for that, yes. right? Yes. So th- when you're a working student, it doesn't mean anything derogatory. It means That's true. you wear yes. it as a badge of honor. Oh, oh, of like, yes, I worked for my yeah, education. Yeah, I'm proud you know? of that. Don't like, you're <laughs> proud of that. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Because you, for, for, for this, ano lang ba, you, you have something that you really want. Mm-hmm. Yes. And for parents that are watching, if you really want it, yeah. we can pray for it. God mm-hmm. can open mm-hmm. doors. He can provide. That's true. Mm. That's true. <laughs> we're really, I don't know, we're really discovering how important holistic education is. Now, Queen, you're yes. working with MVC. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be an MVC at the moment. And I resonate with your experience, Sean. I'm also, uh, I was also not a born Adventist, but I was, um, I have been educated since grade one in an Adventist institution or Adventist school. And mm. yeah, what we were talking about, about holistic education, I'm so thankful for that kind right. of training because as if I look back, if I look back, I am not inherently talented, <laughs> like I am not inherently skillful in those things, but because of Adventist education, because I was exposed to all these kinds of things, I am where I am right now because of God's providence. I, that's true. Amen. That's Man, true. So I praise God you're, you're for a product, all of this. You're a product of yes, Adventist, Adventist education. education. <laughs> praise Amen. the yeah. Lord. So sa ato mga if you have mm. your thoughts about our conversations and your experience, uh, experiences with Adventist education, then you can share it. No, we'd like mm. to learn and know about your experiences <laughs> also. Yeah, we would like to um, hear their insights, their perspective mm. as well in our discussion this afternoon. And what we are doing uh, right now, Shano, no, we are doing a benefit concert. Yeah, and true. we are using music. But to reach out to others, especially those that are marginalized, those that could not... Uh, those that could be that are unreached, no, and we reach them through music, through fr- fundraising, and through causes like this that we can use music to help these people, no, and that's part of holistic development, right? Um, I, I want to say to those of, of you who are watching, maybe your parents, and you're thinking, where should I, where should I send my children uh, this this coming semester, right? Um, why don't you try to send them? Um, here at MVC, <laughs> right? You know, um, 
your 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 children will be part of that drive to help others uh, the advent philomels the members of the orchestra the members of of, of the handbells who will who will, who will be who will be performing later on they all hone their talents not for themselves but to give back and so if you want your children to be to be a part of that yes. you know something bigger, something bigger yes, than themselves you want them beyond. to experience holistic education you know what um chantel um mom queenie sir kenji all these things that we've talking about the stuff that i've been discussing if you want them to be those kinds of students why don't you try sending them over to MVC and we'll be very happy to uh, train them there and you know we'll be happy to meet them there. Oh, Pastor, Pastor CL will be there. Yeah. And yeah. Sister I know Sister you will, will be there. Put, there. Well, I know, you will see them, no sir. They're teaching. Mm. Yeah. Well, and, 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 um, I'd like to, to emphasize what Pastor CL was saying. You know, it's um, sorry. I'd like to emphasize what Pastor CL is saying. You know that um, uh, the, these these skills, these talents that the students have, they they don't hold it for themselves. It's mm. it's always something that they they give back freely, you know. And and I think that's that's something that's very unique with with how we develop our students because we 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 it we, we train them in a way where uh, they learn that what they have is not theirs. Mm. Yes. It's a yes. gift that they have to give share. back. Yes, and share. And I think one of the principles of education, according to Ellen G. White, is that we educate for eternity. So yes. would you like to expound on that, sir? Yeah, I, I think it's having that end goal in mind, right? The end goal is not only service in this life, but service in, in the life to come. And it's, it's a very uniquely Adventist concept of preparing for the life that is to come. That means that we as Adventists, we as people who are preparing for Christ's soon coming, we are here to serve on this earth, but we are also here to serve in the world to come, to praise God, to glorify Him. And you know, that's part of what music, part of what education is. Yes, yes. I, I would just like to address this question from Facebook. Uh, Ma'am Beth Baldosa, my high school ba ang MVC? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I teach, ma'am, I teach at the MVC Academy. And we have a big, we have a big high school there. And um, we have a Facebook page. You can go right there and, and ask some questions, and I think the, uh, the administrative Facebook page will get right back. Mm. All right. So Maybe I can share one last thing yes, before we end. Okay, yes, yes. Um, myself and Sir Kenji, we didn't need to work. We didn't need to work for our college education. That's because our parents did it for us. Ah. <laughs> they came to MBC as working students, and um, we don't have to work anymore. So yes. we appreciate the, the work that goes into uh, having an education so don't be ashamed don't feel bad if you cannot afford to go there full time um, you are in the tradition of a lot of great men and women Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay now this has been a very fruitful discussion and we have been hearing testimonies about how adventist education influences us for the better you know for our holistic development and now we will be hearing more about the testimonies of our students in Mountain View College through this audiovisual presentation. Mga kapaglaom, we will be back after this short break. I'm Jared Kasunkad, Central Student Council President, Pugusa Kimvision. Kimvision, your Ministerial Seminar President, Riniglin Paglinawan. I am Hannah Morena de la Peña. I am a Peer Facilitator Officer, and I am an Ambition. I am Caroline Cabornay, and you can call me Cara. I am an Education Student, and I am an Ambition. Describe your MPC experience in one word. Um, Life-changing. Dynamic. Life. A blessing. Uh, it's because 
sa akong mga experience dire, na bless ko sa community, na bless ko sa experience, na bless ko sa uh, training. It's because I believe that uh, MVC mode, uh, molds every student to become a better person. Kaya din hilang sa MVC, I personally encountered Jesus Christ. Here, I found the life. I developed my character, skills, and talents to be prepared in the future ministry. In my 10 months of stay here in MVC, I can say that I've had a full experience. I've been involved in so many activities and ministries that I can testify MVC truly is holistic and I've had the best and most dynamic experience so far. Well, I came here without seeing a ray of hope, but then here I am, um, ready to shine until Jesus comes. What made you choose MVC? Well, um, I didn't choose MVC. Destiny brought me here. Um, and my experience, I, I, am, I didn't even know that this school really exists and that uh, I was in the Malaybalai that time. And then when I went back, I saw a poster outside the um, MVC Annex. All I know is that this school only offers um, nursing program. But then uh, I saw in the poster that it also offers education program. So here I am now enrolled in this institution. Bugoy manggod akong kuya sa una. Pag-graduate niya, nabago siya, then nahimu siyang successful nga pastor. So, gusto na akong ma-experience and I just want to know kung unsa gyud ang naabi ni. Actually, um, it's because nga layo siya sa mua and I want to become uh, an independent person. MVC was just something I've always wanted to experience. I believe the desire was placed in my heart by God Himself. And I just love the, and I'm just so grateful for the many ways that He's revealed Himself to me in my stay here. What do you like most about MVC? The people, definitely the people. I just love how you can literally go out around the campus and you can smile and greet everybody along the way and they would smile back at you. And you know, there's a sense of belongingness, a sense of community and like we're a family. And the friendships, the relationships that I've built here, I know it would last me a lifetime. Gawa's environment, I really like the training. Yes, nindot kayo ang teachings in which I fully shape my understanding on biblical truth. What I like the most about this school is that the teachers, because teachers here are not just ordinary teachers, but they are also an instrument of hope. Um, my mom died um, a year ago because of cancer, and then I um, lose my hope. But then the best thing here is that I gave up, but then the teachers didn't. They supported me, um, not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally. So I am proud that I'm a student here in MVC, and I am really happy that I, I am enrolled in this institution. Uh, ganahan ko sa community sa MVC. Even though nga, it's a small community, but I feel uh, nga nabilong ko sa kadiring uh, community. Experience, holistic education, experience, MVC. Yes, mga kapag I would like to say it again, experience Mountain View College. Yung moto mga testimony sa ilahang mga students. And again, to everybody that's watching, mga kapag laom, mao niyang atong Adventist online. It's a special episode. Kay, aside from atong mga conversations, mga stories, and the music. No, hilabi na sa ato mga ginapaminaw ng mga kanta na agyud ni siya purpose. No? Himig ng pag-asa. This is a benefit concert for the jungle schools, I think situated all over the Philippines. So sa ato mga kapaglaom, you, uh, you, I, uh, yeah, you're seeing there ang mga outlets no? that you can send your 
donations na from the heart mga kapaglao may believe god would be greatly honored if you give out of your hearts now if you have questions if you're having hard time please message us hope channel south philippines or uh, comment that as a facebook we have digital missionaries headed by miss glenny lomaktud and she will assist you together with her team right queen yes as well what you have emphasized shana this is a fundraising concert mm -hmm, yes. and we are doing it for a cause now i just would like to ask our guest no um how important is it to really be able to reach out? No, to really be able to to give back to the community. Now, as you as educators, as Adventists, you know, how significant is it for you? I I think that's just really central to our being. Um, in fact, you know, uh, if we go back to one of the reasons why MVC was was built, was established, was that it was to be a missionary school. In fact, one of the first names they chose for MVC was the Philippine Missionary College. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. wow. But um, it, it, long story, it became MVC. But, but that, that driving force to, to send out missions, to, to be able to, you know, not just, not just keep to yourself as a community, but to go beyond and, and, and reach out to the community, that's, that's really central to not just, I think, not just to MVC, but to us as, as Adventists, as Christians, um, that's that's People. that's yes. That's what we should be doing, not not keeping to ourselves, but reaching out. Yeah, in fact, um, I think one of our major uh, beneficiaries is um, Silangon Mission School, school. right? Uh, and and these these schools, you know, they've they've been put up a lot. Of, of these schools have been put up in that area because of the initiative of of our Adventist students and and volunteers. So. I think it's really part of our DNA, and you know, for for many of our viewers, you you may be half away around the world, you may be in another country, you may be working so hard, you never have the opportunity to go up to the mountains of Mindanao. That's fine, you know. Through your prayers, through your financial support, you can uh, make this dream a reality, right? No. That's something that's very important. That's true. No, I, I am also part of a humanitarian organization, Agro Philippines, and yes. I, I saw their. I uh, know. I we saw. Uh, I saw our logo also. Your so, part. Your part oh, of this. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to say hi to my co-workers in Agro Philippines, to Sir uh, Tom Pinion, our country office director, Sir Jerry Riquillo, and to everybody. Um, being part here and having to serve and having to do this and that for others. I really take hold kaninga quote jod kay usahay it can be draining sometimes why do I yeah. why do I have to do it for others yes why I mean there's this direct pleasure you feel when you do it for yourself and you earn it and do this and that yes but then there's this long term no. happiness that you cannot just uh, take out of your mind so easily and there's this quote I have been I have been um, bathing myself with ganang ako nga you find your happiness when you make others happy yeah yeah yes. oh, and yes. at that's first so nice. that's, that's a, so nice. at first it may not be that instant you feel the joy and the happiness mm. and all this pleasure when you do this when when you wanted to do to buy this bag and then oh dili na lang ko palitan ni kay I'll give it to okay hatag na ko sa okay, ba, ka, no? dili siya in ana ka instant pero mga kapaglaom dili mapuna ko ni mengo you have to try it yourself Mm. Try it yourself. Try doing something. Instead of doing it for yourself, you do it for others. And so our viewers yeah. who are far, they can help too, right? That's true. Yes. They can help too. They can be part of, of what we're trying to do here. And I think the, they can just send it there, there right? There's, right? It's indicated yes, that's, on yes. the screen. On the screen. Enough. So our donation, kinda, no, we have Land Bank, na apod sa BPI, Metro Bank, PayPal, I believe this is gamit jod sa tong OFWs, Gcash, mm -hmm. very fast and easy, yes. and we have Union Bank. I think that is Union Bank. So, yeah, quick, quick cue, you know, it's not true. It's false. They say money cannot buy happiness. It's, it's false. false. It's false. It's been proven in many studies. Money can, can buy happiness. You know how? 
by giving it away. Yes. Amen. Yes. By giving for, it away. For others, so for the common good. And actually, Sean, I would also like to share a bit of my experience because after college, I really wanted to work in a community setting. And God has given me that opportunity. And when you are on the ground, when you are on the field and you see people who have great needs, no, and you want you exp uh, you see that no you acknowledge that but it's also another thing if you do something for them you address these needs that you have seen mm. that you have acknowledged so it's not just enough that nakita na ko ang yang panginahang lonon we have to do something about it and that's what we are doing now right, yes. right. and by the grace of god by his grace we can impact a life. Ayon. No, mga kapaglam, yes. we have been talking about Mount, Mountain View College, and maybe for some of you, wala pa jud mo naka-add to. I have been there. It's so nice. Yun. <laughs> so for now, mga kapaglam, we'd to be like to make a <laughs> virtual tour on yeah. Mountain View College.
Wow, thank you, AP, for that. Praise God, that was powerful and wonderful. I am actually out of words. Basta ang alam ko lang, nag-e-enjoy talaga ako this afternoon. Ang bilis ng heartbeat ko right now, Kim. I'm not sure if kinakabahan ako because uh, nag mc tayo or maybe because I am excited every time na kumakanta yung AP. Don't worry, Belle. I feel you. <laughs> So, mas may excited ka pa talaga because we have another special guest who will perform for us this afternoon. We are blessed to have the Hilltop Handbells. Just a little trivia for our viewers, the handbells were donated by the Ohio, uh, Ohio Youth Ensemble after their concert at MVC. The current batch under the leadership of Master Karam Lim Adil is composed of nine medtech and one theology student. According to Sir Claro, the bells are a reminder that anything can be used to glorify God and to hasten the coming of Christ. So without further ado, here are the Hilltop Handbells. They will play two songs entitled In Christ Alone and He Leadeth Me and will be followed by a rendition of the AP and Handbells entitled Breathe.
God for that. Very talented students talaga. Sana sumali din ako sa mga ganyan nung college ako. Anyway, um, continue to send in your donations, brothers and sisters, and all together, let us make a difference. Together, let us show our support for our Lord's cause by helping Silangon Village and Adra. In line with the donations, we would like to assure our dear donors and donors-to-be do not worry because after the concert, we will release a transparency report to ensure the integrity of every transaction. If you have made a contribution and have already sent it to the giving, given accounts on your screens, um, we would like to ask for the transaction receipt to be sent to our email, weareamsn at gmail.com for proper accounting po. Again, let me repeat that, weareamsn at gmail.com po. Yes, brothers and sisters, our dear viewers, rest assured that all of your donations will be given to our beneficiaries. Meron pala akong nabasa, Belle, sa comment section, nagtatanong, paano raw kung wala pang pera? <laughs> okay, uh, hindi po yun problema because they can st uh, still send in their donations until the end of the month. Pwede po kayong mag-pledge. Uh, ng any amount, their viewers, and you can send it po until June 3. And for that, we will again release another transparency report. So, ayan! Dear viewers, pwedeng pwede pa talaga kayong humabol. Alam mo yung tagline sa TV, Bell, yung saan naabot ang 20 pesos mo? But for this concert, let us try and see kung saan naabot ang 50 pesos nyo. Yes, Kim, sige. Brothers and sisters, would you like to test kung saan naabot ang 50 pesos ninyo? Donate na and be a part of this project. We all know the story of the poor widow found in Mark 12. She had no source of income after her husband's death. All she had was two small copper coins, yet she offered them to God. And Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. Therefore, walang maliit when it comes to giving something for the Lord's cause. Yes, tama yan, Bell. So, brothers and sisters, try it and see for yourself. Give and you will receive. 
Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. This is a passage found in Luke 6 verse 38. And as the Holy Spirit continues to touch your hearts, here is another series of two songs from the Advent Felomels entitled Joshua and Moses. Not 
wow, sobrang ganda talaga. Parang ayoko nang matapos yung concert. Pero dahil nga, di ba, walang forever. So, some things need to come to an end. So, on behalf of the AMSN and our partner organizations for this Himig ng Pag-asa, a concert for us, we would like to say thank you to everyone who is still watching with us right now. We also would like to thank the following persons, Sir Anel Fernando and Sir Claro Adil for saying yes to our invitation to the Advent Filmmills, Hilltop Handbells, and NBC Orchestra. Thank you so much. Also to our SPUC Hope Channel Manager Sir Janster Kalibod and, uh, and team and SPUC heads, thank you so much for handling the techie stuff for this concert. To Mountain, Mountain View College faculty and staff who joined us this afternoon and to Pastor Julieto Gonzalez, Pastor Joel Sarmiento, Engineer Jonas Azas, Pastor Meljoy Pepito and Sir Joe Carlo Lagra for responding to our request to stream the concert on their respective Hope Channel pages and to other Facebook pages who allowed us to stream the concert. We may not be able to mention your names, but our hearts are very thankful sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much! And of course, to our donors who did not hesitate to send their donations and to our donors-to-be. Kasi nga, di ba, we can still accept donations until the end of the month. Yes, thank you so much po. And should you have more questions about our beneficiaries, you or you want to personally visit and support Silangan Village and Adra, you may message us on our Facebook page, AMSMPH, in order for us to give you more details about them and their contact persons. Also, for those who joined our raffle event for this concert, the announcement of the winners, all winners will be tonight at exactly 7 p.m. live on our Facebook page, Adventist Medical Student Network. At this point of time, we will now give the floor to our AMSN advisor, Dr. Elvin Texon, for the closing remarks, which will be followed by the finale song of the Advent Fellow Mills. On behalf of Adventist Medical Student Network, AMSN Philippines, as their advisors, my wife and I would like to bring back the glory and honor to our God, who himself authored music. In heaven, they are singing as well. Revelation 15 verse 3 records, They held harps given them by God and sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. This too will be the experience of those who will be victorious over Satan and over sin. We may not be able to sing here on earth with a choir, but soon we will join the Advent Philomel's Chorale, Hilltop Handbells, and the angelic hosts in anthems of praise resounding through heaven from thousands and ten thousands times ten thousand and an innumerable company of the redeemed host bursting into a melodious song praising our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you know what, friends? Angels will welcome the King and he's redeemed. Tayo na mga makasalanan na nagtagumpay laban kay Satanas. The angels will welcome us with a song of triumph. It will be our time to shine on that day in the glory of the Father and the Son. The angels touching their golden harps will welcome the King and his trophies of victory. Tayo yon, mga tropeyo ng Diyos those who have been washed and made white in the blood of the Lamb. A song of triumph will peal forth, filling all heaven. Christ has conquered. He enters the heavenly courts, accompanied by His redeemed ones. The witness that His mission of suffering and sacrifice has not been in vain. The heavenly songs you have heard today may have touched your hearts, and consider sharing your blessings to the Silangon Jungle Village Mission School and the victims of Typhoon Agaton, particularly in Western Visayas. You know what, beloved friends, every merciful act to the needy and the suffering is regarded as though done to Jesus. When you give assistance to the poor and sympathize with the afflicted and oppressed, 
and befriend the orphan. You bring yourself into a closer relationship with Jesus. We should always remember that when we neglect to supply the wants of the needy, when we fail to sympathize with those who are suffering and in sorrow, we neglect Jesus and fail to sympathize with him in the person of his suffering ones, the saints. I praise the Lord for Adventist Medical Student Network officers and members for initiating this noble endeavor and also uh, other organizations involved here and uh, Hope Channel as well. The Good Samaritan Project, Himig ng Pag-asa. AMSN or Adventist Medical Student Network are a group of SDA medical students throughout the country who are preparing themselves for their noble calling of becoming physicians soon, not only to become doctors, but to be medical missionaries, to be Jesus' hands and feet in this perishing world. Lastly, I would like to take you to a brief walk down memory lane. You know what? Our church, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in 1895, put up a medical school as part of the mission. And you know, they also have a four-year medical program. And for over 15-year history of the school, they graduated about 200 physicians. And you know what? I was so amazed at what the school was doing. They have a lot of activities that they sponsored including kindergarten, a nursery for working mothers, free laundry for women, classes in first aid, hygiene, diet, child training, and placement service for orphans, a placement uh, service for men and women who had been reclaimed from Skid Row. And those, they also operated a free employment agency. As part of their medical training, they also work in the dispensary and they also organized about 70 clubs among newsboys, boot blacks, and street kids. They also visit the city's jail. They visited the, the city's jail and they have other programs uh, along with it on moral instruction and gymnastics. And um, I can just relate it now what, of what you're doing uh, with the with this, uh, our um, natives in the mountains and also the victims of the of the typhoon, and so with this program that they were doing, uh, the the founder of the American Public Health Association was so impressed, and he said this. He said that the Adventist Medical School in Chicago was, and I quote the most important educational institution in the world. It's because of the comprehensive approach that it took a hundred years ago plus in terms of ministering comprehensively to the needs of individuals, its coordination of the study of medicine with the operation of the various welfare program was in fact unique. Our example that I leave you is the example of Jesus. The Word became flesh and blood, and He moved into our neighborhood, and we beheld the one of a kind glory, like Father, like Son, generous inside and out. John 1.14 for the message translation. The point for us today and the challenges we are facing in our world today can be effectively addressed because we are uniquely equipped with both a comprehensive approach and Christian compassion, and we can make an enormous difference if we only go back to what we have been counseled to do and develop a comprehensive ministry that makes a difference in the lives of individuals. Thank you, and God bless us all.
Amen. Indeed, mga kapaglaom, to God be the glory for everything that He has done, especially this afternoon also. Thank you very much to everybody that stayed. Thank you every, for everybody that listened and also to everybody that donated and will donate. Sa ato mga kapaglaom, we are here and we would like to thank um, ato ang mga partners, especially the Medical Missionaries, Amen, Hope Channel, ADRA, Advent Fellow Mills, PYC, AMHA, Amicus UNP, LSAMS, ISAMS, Cebu Adventist Medical Student Association, DMSFI, Society, and our co-hosts, si Ma'am Bell and si Ma'am Kim. Napot kayo pa sa Lamatan, Queen? Speaking about thanks and gratitude, I would also like to thank our guests for today, Sir Kenji and Sir CL. So before we end, basig na pa sila gusto i-shout out. So now is the time, and if you have anything else to say, Please do so. Sir Kench? Right. Um, if you would like to know more about Mountain View College, um, we have a strong online presence. You could go to our website. It's www.mvc.edu.ph. Did I get that right? And uh, we're on Facebook. And we have from basic education all the way to graduate school. So if you would like to know more about Mountain View College, let us... Uh, Get in touch with us online, and we'll get right back to you. Seriously? I would want to uh, thank my family for always supporting me, watching me. My brother was at SPAC. He did graduate from MVC, though. Um, the members of C12 uh, and Mountain View College, and also to all of my friends in Luzon, besides me now, thank you so much for your love and support. I want to, to say the same thing that Sir Kenji said in a different way. If you want your life to change, if you want to be transformed, one of the best things that you can do is to come to Mountain View College, and I hope that you will meet Jesus Christ there. Amen, amen and amen. So on behalf of Hope Channel South Philippines, we'd like to thank you, Sir C. L. and yes, Sir Kenji, for gracing our program this afternoon. And before po tamo and siya, no, gusto lang po ko nga na personal og shout out kay Ganina Ragyo, nagsaba ang amo ang GC, nga shout out ko daw sila isa isa. So ako dyan ng isa isa on sila. <laughs> one by one, like, I would like to greet our C12 movement. Core group leaders, Hannah, Alex, Joy, Shem, Gerald, Jared, Kerr, Louie, Kyle, and Kian, who is with us today, now a member of Advent Philomels. Good afternoon, happy Sabbath sa inyo. Pati na po, ang ako ang mga ginaturing nanakis nila sa Mountain View College. Angelie, Chini, Cherry, Kate, Brittany, and Lily, hello sa inyo. Ha? And thank you so much for your support. And before we forget, Mountain View College, mga kapaglaom, would have its enrollment for summer this coming June 13 to 17. And for the first semester, August 15 to 19. And our class, mga kapaglaom, would be full face-to-face -face na. So we are back to normal in Mountain View College. From kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Elementary, high school, oh. and then to college. Well, face that's to face full face-to-face. Face. Wow. So if you want to experience holistic education, experience MVC. So sa atong mga kapaglaom, if you have questions, yes, they have their website, they also have their Facebook, or you can message us and we can direct you to them and you can ask the right persons, Jude, not to give you the correct answers, especially you want the best for your children, not just now but life to come you want yes. that for them and so pastor we'd like to ask you to pray no for um for our parents that are watching to their uh th their children and especially kanipod nga fundraising nga cause by a uh, amsn, AMSN. Mm -hmm. all right um let's bow our heads for prayer dear father Truly to you alone, to you alone, to you alone, we give the glory and honor and praise. Everything that 
We have been everything that we are and everything that we will be. We dedicate to you. Because what is what we have in contrast, in comparison to the blood of Jesus Christ, your dear Son that He has shed for each and every one of us. I pray, dear Father, for all of the people within the sound of my voice here at the studio, all around the world, watching live on Facebook. I pray, dear Father, that the love of Jesus Christ may fill their lives, that they may one day gain the salvation that truly is not to be repented of. I pray, dear Father, that you will lead their steps so that they may be ready for the day when you will come again. And from our lips, let it never die. From pole to pole, let the message fly. Let every heart bear the joyful cry. Our Lord, our King, He is nigh, He is nigh. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. And so, sa ato mga kapaglam, just to leave this thought, no, serving and sustaining others are a tremendous is a tremendous privilege and the most honorable way to bring glory to the Heavenly Father. Helping our students discover their personal potential and identify where it can best be used for Christ's glory is the true goal of education. I am Queen. I am Shan. Blessings and Maranatha.